Okay, let's go to Home Depot, one of my favorite places. My wife doesn't like it, but this time she's taking me there, so, well, it'll be awesome. So yeah, my wife wants to retile the kitchen floor. So we are here looking at some of the tile options. See, that one's good. Our next to is good. But we like the darker tiles. Right there. So I am here to purchase a tube to attach to the new water pump that I got. So I want to use the water pump to change water uh, in my 30 gallon uh, aquarium. So in order to attach the pump to my aquarium water changer, I need another maybe a foot or two, foot, two feet worth of uh, tube. So I'm gonna go find that. Um, yeah, maybe I should go find that now while my wife is on the phone and also looking at the floor tiles. Okay, so I found this, which is what I want. 5 8 inch outer diameter and half inch inner diameter. I got this fitting from the, the water pump to see if it fits in here. And it fits perfectly. There you go. There you go. So it does. This is what I want, but I do not want 20 feet and the 10 feet one is not available so i need to find somebody to see if they can cut this 20 feet um vinyl tube into a 10 feet tube all right let's go find somebody so i couldn't get the the 10 feet long vinyl tube they asked me to go to true value I don't know what true value is. It's another hardware store, I think. And they'll probably cut it to size. So I'm gonna go there and try it out. Now we are looking for tile samples. Oops, tile samples. What do you think of like Moroccan? Look at this tile. What do you think of uh, these tiles? Oh. Are these porcelain tiles? Can I these are nice. Yeah, these are porcelain tiles, yeah. You can touch the ones which are down here. <gasps> One tiny slab is 199. Yeah. Ah. No, no, no. It's one square. Wait. Uh, yeah. One tiny slab is one square feet. So it's each. Uh, or So yeah, it's each. Each is two bucks. That's what it is. So it will cost me nine, 600 bucks to just yeah. take this. But I don't understand that. It's a 6 by 24. Kitchen yeah, you can put it wherever you want. I really like it. I think porcelain no, tiles are yeah, better, better for uh, the. Yeah. Uh, yeah, I, I really like that one. Yeah, right, the dark one, the dark one dark like one, this one. Yeah. Yeah. yeah, I like that too. Do you think I'm not looking for like a flow from family room to kitchen? I'm just looking for something independent for the kitchen. Sadly, let's see if it's somewhere down I here. Think we, should, we should take a few samples here. there and go. Here. Probably let's take. Gunshot. Rustic. Sure. Okay, let me go get somebody to talk to. Okay, so we finished our trip to Home Depot. Now going back home. Actually, we're gonna go pick up some food and then go back home. Uh, you know how we get carried away when we go to places that we like? I'm gonna go home and show you exactly what I got here. Something that was not on the list. Okay, bye. Yes, what you're looking at is our last year's Christmas tree. Don't judge us. 
Haha. <laughs> Zoe thinks this thing is Zoe's friend. Well, she'll be surprised once that thing is out of the box. Haha. <laughs> All right, so this is what I got from Home Depot. This is um, a wet dry whack head which fits on a Home Depot bucket. I'm gonna be doing an unboxing of this thing and like an informal review of this thing soon. Okay, hold on. Let me introduce to you bucket head. As it says, turn your Home Depot bucket into a wet dry whack. Uh, I don't really know how effective this is. I've seen a few reviews on YouTube and it seems to be pretty good. I'm going to try it out right now and kind of show you yeah, what it's all about okay so I have my knife I have the bucket head here let me open it right now wow here it is so this is the head as you can see uh, one of this is the outlet the other one is the inlet uh, you have a switch over here an on off switch uh, this is supposed to be the filter, which is held together uh, by a, a rubber band. So you can take it off for uh, for any wet vacuuming. Uh, it's got a regular uh, three pin cord. I don't know how long this is. I'm going to uh, tell you that in a bit. The way it fits on the bucket is using these clamps over here. There's like a plastic clamp over here and this side. So it just kind of hooks onto the bucket. Uh, there's a hose, just just a basic hose. It's called an instruction manual over here. I'm gonna show you how this fits onto the five gallon bucket. Um, all you have to do is place it on the bucket, right? I've just kept it on the bucket, and then press it in. That's it. It's kind of snug. I mean, it moves around a little bit. But I don't think that's going to cause any trouble. The hose basically goes in one of these places. I don't know which one's the inlet, which one's the outlet. We'll read up right now. Okay, I've gone through the, the owner's manual. It doesn't say which one is the sucking end and which one is the blowing end. Um, we'll just have to try it out. Okay, the cord is not that long. It's long enough, I think. So I'm going to go plug this in. Okay, turn it on. Now, let's see how much noise it makes. One, two, three. Okay, so it makes as much of a noise as a regular vacuum. So let's try to suck something. Here is some rice. There you go. Yeah, that sucked it up really well. Now, let's see what's inside. So in order to remove this, um, the clams over here, I'm gonna just pop them up like this. So one side is loose, then I'm gonna go to the other side and Hold the clamp over here. So the this side is loose, which means the bucket head can come out. So I'm gonna like just hold it like so. Push it down. And you can see oh this is so there's rice inside. Okay. So yeah, this is actually fairly uh, powerful. It's it's good and I think this is definitely going to uh, be useful in my uh, shop which I generally have sawdust uh, that I need this vacuum to kind of clear out. Um, I'm going to be using it on my power tools. Next time I use it on uh, 
my miter saw or uh, you know my jigsaw uh, or the sander I'm going to make another video to kind of show you how this goes with the power tool I do not know if I need to buy any other attachment uh, or if this post is going to fit um, into the uh, you know the slots on the power tools but I'm gonna make a video on that pretty soon I paid 21 bucks for this um, so looks like a, a good deal for a small shop for a hobby shop All right hope this helps all right, that's it for today. I'll see you next time.